Hi everyone, um, thank you for joining us today. My name is Alice Chance and I am Head of Student Operations at Command Shift. Um, this evening I'm going to be speaking to you all about our Software Engineering Bootcamp, um, telling you a little bit about the course, about what you learn with us, about careers, um, answering any questions you might have and then I have a student joining me later on um, who's now graduated from working as a developer so a great opportunity as well for you to ask them lots of questions about the course. Um, so to tell you a little bit about me, I am head of student operations so I sort of deal with all things student based so whether that's careers, sort of everyday student life um, as well as onboarding so if you have applied before you may have got an email from me or if you've watched one of these before you've probably seen me before um, but I'm here to answer any questions that you have. Um, appreciate there's lots of different choice out there when it comes to boot camps. And we just want to make the decision as easy for you as possible. Um, this isn't anything to sort of push you. It's just a nice, friendly session really telling you all about the course and what we have to offer and how we differ from other boot camps. So please feel free to get involved. There is a question section at the bottom, so feel free to ask questions, or the chat section, so feel free to ask um, questions in there, or just if you have something you'd like to add, please feel free to get involved with, and ask anything. Um, I'm sure if you have a question, somebody else is probably thinking the same thing, or if there's something you'd like me to explain in a little bit more detail, or you want me to go over again, just please feel free to ask away. This is like a really good opportunity just to get as much information about the course as possible. Um, so I'm going to start, um, oh, and we've gone right to the end of my presentation, classic, uh, sorry, right, here we go. So we are Command Shift, um, and what we do is one course, so we just do one software development course. Um, we get lots of people who come to us and they're all different stages. In their journey some people have been thinking about doing a boot camp for a couple of years other people may have just thought of it or they may have heard somebody speaking about a group boot camp and it's taken an inch and they've taken an interest um so we teach people from all different levels um all different careers or different backgrounds and all different levels the course is designed for complete beginners if you have previous experience that's that's great but we don't expect you to have any um, but I guess in a nutshell, what does a software developer do? So for the people who are slightly newer, who maybe you don't know anyone that's a software developer or this is just something you just suddenly sort of thought might be something of interest to you. So this is, I guess, a brief overview. So a software developer is someone who writes computer programs and applications that we use on computers, smartphones and other electronic devices. So very simply, it's the way we communicate with websites, um, applications, and then um, there's other types of software as well, so more like hardware products, so um, actual like devices, they have software on them as well. So it kind of encompasses a lot of different things, but they work with different programming languages and tools to create software for different industries. So there isn't just one software industry. Um, tech, I guess, is a, is a bit of an umbrella term, but um, you can work in loads of different industries, which is really cool. Um, but software developers need to be good at problem solving and attention to detail is really important. So a lot of people I speak to um, love problem solving. Um, that's something that they're sort of missing from their day job. They want something that's, I guess, um, that they can really, I guess, sink their teeth into. I think that's something that software development and developers can do. And um, there's a lot of uh, problem solving, sort of, it's almost like puzzles almost. Um, so it's really interesting. And they should be able to work well in teams um, and be really collaborative. So we get lots of people who come to us who potentially have worked in hospitality or maybe teaching or lots of different industries um, where problem solving, attention to detail and collaboration has been part of their career already. And it goes without saying that having an interest in tech is essential. Um, although a lot of people who do tend to do the bootcamp, um, although interested in tech, are sort of doing this for lots of different reasons. Um, one of the reasons is because software developers have great pay and um, the tech industry as a whole um, is, a, is a really good pay area. Um, there's lots of competition within tech, so it really bumps people's salaries up. But um, just to go through, I guess, what you would expect from your first job as a software developer, you would sort of be looking for around £28,858. Um, our graduates actually 
see an entry level salary of 31,916. Um, the market range is around 25 to 40. So that's once you finish the boot camp and you go straight into a salary from that sort of position. Um, Mid-level developers are 35 to 55,000 pounds, and that's once you've got a couple of years experience under your belt. Most companies do pay reviews every six months. Um, most people are getting into mid mid-level from one year to two years worth of experience. So one year upon graduation or two years upon graduation. And then once you get sort of senior um, software developer is 55,000 plus, and those salaries, I think they are a bit under. The market average because I've worked in tech recruitment for a number of years and he, people are hiring um, developers for like 100,000 plus went once they've got those few years experience and they've really dedicated themselves to it so the salaries are great the pay is great people want good software developers they want people who are skilled once you sort of pass that junior level and you're mid-level there's so much opportunity out there um, like I said, there's really regular pay reviews and people want you to work for them. Um, and there's a real shortage, obviously, within the industry um, of good love, good software developers. So that's about the salaries. And then there's loads of other benefits. So a lot of people who come to us want a bit more flexibility from their, from their work. So remote or hybrid working is a huge, huge plus about working in tech. I went from working in hospitality to working in tech and just could not tell you how much of my life I felt like I got back from working um, remote and also in hybrid model. You just feel like you have a bit more of yourself. Um, I personally like a split, so a couple of days in the office, a couple of days working from home. Um, but yeah, having that flexibility, we get quite a lot of parents who want that flexibility, so they do the course. Um, people who are just not wanting to sort of be in an office, have it extended commutes and things like that. Um, you get great equipment, obviously. Most companies will set you up with a laptop and all the other bits, private health insurance, paid parental leave, learning budgets or training days, generous vacation allowance, co-working passes, work events. Yeah, benefits are great. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of um, advantages to working in tech. I have had a question. Um, what is a developer doing? And, uh, somebody's asked a question that just says, what is the difference between a dev developer and an engineer? Um, and there isn't really much of a difference. It's just different job, job titles. I would say software engineer and software developer are pretty much the same thing. Um, it's just different people call them different things. I don't think there's an actual difference, if I'm being honest with you. But thank you for your question. It is quite confusing. There's loads of different names <laughs> for in tech. It's getting used to it. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you a bit about our course. So Bootcamp is a 28 week long program. Um, so if you were to join us this September, you'll be finishing next April. You have two study breaks on the course and then you'll also have a Christmas break in between for that as well. There's 300 hours of live class. So we are a live taught lecture um, bootcamp. It isn't pre-recorded. We teach to you every week and we have tutors that come in and do that for you. So if you have questions, they will be answered for you there. You'll get to know your tutors really well and you get a lot more support that way rather than just watching a video, watching something online. You have live um, support with our tutors and it's two evenings a week. So um, if you were to join September, which is our last boot camp of the year, um, and probably until early next year, you would have lessons every Monday and Wednesday evening, half past six until half past nine. Um, we ask that you do have those two evenings free if for whatever reason you could only do start at like eight o'clock on a Wednesday or you weren't able to make a Monday session. I would say wait until the next boot camp as the lessons will be Tuesday, Thursday. But we do ask for you to make sure you can attend both of those as they are mandatory. Um, and we have an optional Saturday session. So Saturday session is just an opportunity really to go through any coursework you may be stuck on, chat with the tutors, talk with our um, mentors about the work you're going through and have face-to-face -face contact. We have a 24 seven chat function where you can message any problems that you're having, but sometimes having that face-to-face -face contact with somebody talking through an issue is exactly what you need to do. Um, and that is what a Saturday session is for. We have 37 instructors, um, and the instructors are great. I'd say probably most people that I speak to once they've graduated or most people who've done our course, that's their favourite thing that they say uh, about the course is the tutors, like you will have the same people um, sort of along the course. So for 
the first 10 weeks, you'll have your core instructors. You then have instructors for back end and then have instructors for front end. So you have very familiar faces working with you, which is really nice because you build up a really nice rapport with them um, and you'll all get on with each other, which is lovely. Um, but there's 37 instructors and all of our instructors are actually software developers in their day job and they teach with us part time in the evenings. A lot of them have done boot camps themselves and then have come back after they've got a couple of years experience and said so they'd like to teach with us. So they are the best people to be teaching you. They've been exactly where you are. They understand the problems that you may be going through on the course. If you're stuck on something, they understand the highs and the lows of learning a new language. Um, and they're, they're just great. They're really, really great. And we have one of the highest teaching ratios within the industry as well. So we have a one to seven teaching ratio. So for every seven students, we have one tutor. Um, which means you're not fighting for attention when it comes to class and you always have um, support from the team. And as I mentioned earlier, we have our out of hours support. So we have a Slack channel, which would be sort of like your class, um, virtual classroom where you can ask any questions and the tutors um, will get back to you and offer support. Um, our course though it has been around since 2017. So we're the longest running part-time bootcamp um, and we worked on this course with employers to really bring what they are looking for in, in top junior developers to the course. So we speak to them about what tools they're looking for, what technologies, what languages they want people to learn. And that's how we've created our curriculum um, based around that and what employers are looking for. And we are trusted by those employers. So we're partnered with organizations across the UK who regularly hire our students. They'll reach out to us and say, I have this job vacancy and I'd like to employ some commensurate students. So we have lots of opportunities like that. And they are based across the UK. Obviously, our course is completely remote. So um, the location of their employers will not be an issue. And these are some of the companies we have um, hired students into, which is great. Like these are where students have got their first job and they're not this isn't where a student who's got five years now experience is working. This is where a student has finished our course and gone straight into a job. So we've got companies like Google, British Airways System, Hitachi, Accenture, Auto Trader, Jaguar, some really, really big names there. And then we've had students go into smaller companies as well. Really, it's about you, what sort of company you'd like to go for, what sort of opportunity you're looking for, and then we'll help you with the rest. So we do offer 100% career support. So by that, we will work with you until you find a job. So if you were to graduate for whatever reason and you didn't find a vac vacancy straight away, we keep working with you. We'd change tactics. We'd find out what's going wrong so we can help and implement different things to help you um, get your first job as a junior developer. And we also offer a money back guarantee if you were to find employment within the first six months of graduating. Um, it's some terms and conditions around that in terms of like attendance and things like that. And just making sure that you really commit yourself to the course. And if you do all those things, there's no reason you won't be able to find a job. But we run really regular career sessions. Um, we have guest speakers who will come in to speak to you about lots of different topics. Um, and we're really here to help and support. And I always say to people that everyone's, everyone's goal is to help you get a job as a junior developer at the end of the day. So my advice is always really take from this course what you can, attend all the sessions, get involved with all of the talks that we put on um, and just really be a part of the Command Shift community. Um, our course is rated 4.87 out of 5 by our graduates, so that's on Google and Course Report. Um, happy always as well to put you in touch with students or people who've done our course if you're looking for a bit of extra help. Obviously, like I said earlier, we understand there's so many choices out there when it comes to boot camps. Um, and a lot of the time, I feel like you don't really see the people who are graduating. You can't really see the faces who of the people who are now working as developers. We're happy to put you in touch with people who have graduated and now working as developers or people who are on the course. And you can ask them loads of questions about the course, about how they found it, how they found juggling a job, um, how they found working and maybe being a parent and then doing the course. We have a student who <laughs> sort of fits any category. So if you are interested in being put in touch with one of our students, please let me know and I can do that for you. Um, I have had a quick question through from Michaela and I will ask, answer that for you at the end. Um, 
I'll just try and go through all the questions at the end. Um, so we teach a cutting edge um, curriculum. So like I mentioned earlier, we uh, are constantly evolving a curriculum. Um, for the full curriculum details, I can send out a prospectus to anybody who's looking. It can also be found on our website. I'm not a technical person, so I can't tell you the ins and outs of the languages and all the tools and technologies, but I can tell you what we teach. So our core language that we teach is the most used programming language in the world, and that is JavaScript. Um, we chose JavaScript because it's a really adaptable language. Um, lots of people learn JavaScript and then are able to pick up other languages really easily from this. Um, loads of companies are employing people who are looking for job, or loads of companies are employing JavaScript developers. Um, and yeah, so it's a JavaScript course. And then we teach with that the number one front on technology, which is React. So React, you have websites like Facebook, Spotify, Twitter, or X or whatever it's called now. They all use React um, and JavaScript to build their websites and applications. So these are really in-demand current technologies that employers are looking for. And then we also teach the number one database technology, which is SQL and all of these. So I'm not going to go through all of them to you, but if you would like more information on, I guess, the actual curriculum, I'm happy to put you in touch with one of our tutors or I can send you our prospectus over, which goes into a lot more detail about all of this, all the languages we teach, all the tools, all the technologies. Um, but the course itself is project based. It isn't exam based. Um, so we will work with you and we'll teach you all of these skills along the way by setting you projects, setting you mini tasks. And the projects that you create will become like a portfolio, which you can showcase to employers. And you'll finish with a group project at the end um, where you're working a small team to create your own website and application. It's really impressive. I speak to people sort of at the start of their journey. So from when they first put an application form in to when they start getting involved with careers into the point where they graduate and I get to see their final projects. I'm always so impressed and amazed by some of the amazing things people create. Like there's some really, really great um, websites and apps that have been created by Command Shift students. If you're interested in having a look, I would definitely head over to the Command Shift YouTube channel. Um, they're just great. They're really, really good, really creative. Like I'm always blown away by what people can do just within six months of learning with us. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. We are, we give you a full curriculum of what employers would like you to see. Um, and now I have one of our students who is gonna be joining me. Chris, if you are there, it would be great if you could jump in. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Good. Good. Okay, cool. So um, I've got some pre-prepared questions for Chris that we're gonna run through, but um, like I said earlier, this is a great opportunity for other people to ask Chris loads of questions. Chris, you graduated in July, June? Yeah, <laughs> a few months back now. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I can't, yeah, it's hard. It's kind of flown by since I've left. But, yeah, it has. Um, but yeah, I've been in the industry since, since then, pretty much. Um, and yeah, it just time flies. Great. Um, so before you joined Command Shift, um, tell us a little about what you were doing. Um, you, you weren't in a technical position at all before. No, right? so I, I literally hadn't touched anything tech-wise. I was interested in technology as in I use the computer, uh, much like most people. <laughs> but I, I was a chef for maybe 11, 12 years, and that was my whole career. Um, so nothing tech-related at all, really. Um, obviously, there's some transferable skills there with, like, quite high paced uh, handling pressure and uh, being quite creative at the same time, but nothing tech wise at all. Cool. And um, had you done, had you done any, like, I guess, created any, lots of people do the free courses online. So like free code camp or maybe they'll try out Udemy courses. Had you done anything like that previously? So once I'd got the idea in my head, that's when I started to look at that sort of stuff. So mm. once I'd sort of, had this brilliant idea of I'm going to become a developer <laughs> um, and it was a brilliant idea actually yeah so, um but yeah that's when I started to sort of do some intro courses I did a few different intro courses for different coding camps uh, mm -hmm. and then I also started looking at like you said free code camp uh, and that, them sort of sites just to sort of get a feeler of what cool. it was about cool and why did you take the 
I guess, why did you take the course and what made you pick Command and Shift as the boot camp? Obviously, there's so many different ones out there, but what was it that stood out? About so, Command the reason why I decided to sort of become a developer and take take a course was I was kind of at a dead end with my job. I'd been chefing for a long time. I'd sort of got to the, where I wanted to within my career and there was limited uh, room for growth. Quite, I'm a person who likes to learn a lot. So I'm always doing like 10 different things. I'm trying to learn mm -hmm. a language. I'm trying to learn piano. Yeah. Um, I, I just like to learn stuff. It's part of like who I am. So once I got to that stage in my career, I was like, where can I go from here? And mm -hmm. The idea came up for tech. I saw a few things online and uh, I looked through a few different coding boot camps, but I wasn't in the p position financially just to sort of say, I'm going to stop working uh, and then do this full time. Yeah. Um, so obviously, command shift, you can sort of, you can do it two evenings a week. Obviously, the study time as well as that, but you can sort of work it around your life. Cool. I think that's why lots of people come to us is that part time element. Like you said, you are able to work it around your life. Um, I'm always surprised when we I speak to people and they're like, they've graduated and they've got a job and they're a full time parent and they've got a full time job. And yeah. like, obviously, it's still I mean, demanding in what you're doing. I had at the time, I was doing the course, I was doing the course and I own my own business as well. And then I was working full time and it's not easy. Like, there's a lot to juggle. Um, mm -hmm. and obviously social life and all of that if you want you mm -hmm. know people want that as well um it becomes very small <laughs> yeah. during the course because you, you do really have to focus because you're learning something totally alien to you mm -hmm. um but it's well worth it at the end of it and now i work nine till five remote um my life's totally different yeah <laughs> Was it a massive change for you? Because it was a massive change for me from going from hospitality to working like in tech. I was just like, I've got so much free time. Like I didn't know what to massive. do with myself. Like, I mean, I, w I was on salary. So I was doing, as most chefs do, double the amount of hours for the same amount of pay. So yeah. you know, I could do a 14 hour day, go home, sleep, and then do another one the next day. And that, that was my life. Um, mm -hmm. so, um, robotically just repeating the same steps. Um, now I've worked nine till five and from home, I've cut out the hour commute either side. Yeah. And, you know, which is two hours there already. And plus the whole not having a 14, 12, 14 hour day yeah. <laughs> is huge. It's like having, I've reconnected with so many people, I've made new friends, I've started new hobbies, and yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And would you tell us a little bit about your job now then and what you're actually doing? I so I work as a front end uh, software developer for Benson's for Beds. Um, and I essentially just build the websites. Everything yeah. you see on the website, I, I, I sort of I have some part in building. And we've also just procured another website, which we're also working on, which is like an e commerce platform. Um, and, and initially, you know, I didn't even think when I was starting this out, uh, starting the journey that I'd go work there or I didn't know they'd be sort of hiring developers, but everywhere mm -hmm. needs developers. And yeah. you sort of have in your head, that, oh, I'm going to mm -hmm. be, I'm going to have to try and get a job at Google or something. Yeah. And you, you don't, there's everywhere needs a developer. And I've even been contacted at this stage by a lot of people who want sort of freelance work, uh -huh. um, which is, you know, you can do on the side as well and earn an yeah. extra income from amazing but i think you're right about that i think a lot of people just think they're gonna have to work for a tech company but like nearly every company has a tech team within it yeah, so there's um, so many different industries you can work in like, there's four developers at where i work um and then ux designers there's a whole team of like people graphic designers online yeah um it's huge and like you don't expect it from a bed company but no. <laughs> you know um yeah it's there's there's a need for it everywhere yeah, exactly, exactly. And how did you find the fit then from going from being on the course to um, actually working as a developer? Like, how did it translate for you? So I found the the job, obviously, for you guys. Uh, you guys, were, uh, I think you posted it. But for me, the team was a big focus. So when I started to, uh, speaking to the guys there, it was quite a welcome, welcoming uh, attitude mm -hmm. and quite 
similar to how we were running the course like we we do like sort of joint programming and things like that and so transition wise was fairly easy I, yeah. I felt a bit I was drowning for the first week because everyone's yeah. like you need you need all this 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 and now it's sort of just day to day yeah it's just natural to you cool um and how did you actually find the course then um I guess with the being as honest as you can like what were your highs and what were your lows or like what did you not really expect coming into it so i'll start with lows so i can end okay. with highs. <laughs> um, the, the course is super demanding i mean yeah. we had quite a large cohort i think we were like 30 odd in mm. our cohort and people struggled you know like there was people who struggled to keep up with their time commitments the, the concepts are very new and different to what yeah. you'll, you'll have done before if you're not into tech already um so but that's the downs like mm -hmm. you, you sort of it's it's hard work and coming into this i sort of underestimated how hard it was going to be yeah but you know the the highs of being the course was sorry i got my sister's hi cat, really that's a nice cat it's <laughs> on your mind so <laughs> well, i don't have a cat but i'm baby i'm cat sitting for the week all uh, right <laughs> <laughs> not quite learned how to stay out of the way of a laptop um, <laughs> so the highs being obviously i know you mentioned earlier the tutors uh they're really brilliant um, yeah. they put you at ease a lot and with, with these concepts are, they are really difficult but they know what they're doing like mm -hmm. some of the tutors are working in really um really good companies and senior roles and you just flick them a message, put it on the chat, and they'll either call you, they'll send you a few messages on, oh, maybe we'll break it down like this. Yeah. Um, and obviously the job support after, I I was a bit lost as well looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. um, and you put all that out there, so you made the process a lot easier. Because um, obviously it's a new industry as well. Like, yeah. I can get a chef job anywhere mm -hmm. quite confidently. But, um, when you have to speak about something you, you're not confident with yourself, you think, oh, I've just learned this, so I don't know anything. Um, it's a bit harder, so it's kind of nice to have that support of a course behind you. Yeah, I think that is, it is hard, like switching switching careers. But I think you're right. It's like once you've been there for a couple of weeks, you'll realise these people are just the same as you. Um, and they've got, they just want you to do well. I think that's one thing I always say about the tech industry and working in a tech team is it's a really welcoming environment um, of people that actually want to learn, want you to learn and want to teach you. Um, there's so much knowledge sharing. Um, and for me, that was Huge. a really I mean, big thing. Even today, like I was just speaking to someone on LinkedIn and I'm going to go on my podcast tomorrow. Just oh, really? about how I broke into tech and similar to this, I guess, you know, sort of just say how I broke into tech and my tr transition of careers and things. But Mm. everyone wants to help you in tech which is yeah I, I hate to say the polar opposite of hospitality <laughs> sort of how to get you but um, it's, a, it's really different to lots of industries um, yeah, where they're um, like really exclusive like it's like no this is like they don't want you to do well they don't yeah, want you to like grow the ladder stuff. and but yeah in tech like, I, I still speak to the tutors um on slack I still nice. have access to the channel so yeah. You know, if I need help with something or even just catching up, I chat to the tutors. LinkedIn, there's people who are, you know, a little bit more senior now and they're mm. trying to sort of put their name out into tech. So they're trying to host things and hold, help um, juniors. So more juniors come in, they can move up and yeah. it's sort of a big chain. I agree. I agree. It's a lovely industry. And we just, I feel like we're painting a picture of it. In the, if I was listening, I'd be like, I don't think that's telling the truth, but it really is. So it is really nice. Um, and do you have any advice for future students? So if somebody was thinking of joining the course, like what would be your advice for them? Um, make sure you've got the time. Don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't, as I, as I've mentioned a few times, don't underestimate it. Yeah. Um, because if not, you'll really struggle and you'll, you'll hate it because um, mm -hmm. it's a lot of work, but uh, the main thing is if you want to change your life positively, do the course. Um, as I say, my life is night and day now. Um, I, I've 
my mental health, my, my I would I had say my physical health, but I said my chair off. <laughs> so probably not my physical health, but <laughs> you're not doing as many steps. Yeah, <laughs> my life as a whole has got much better. Like yeah. I'm going on holiday uh, next week. I'm going to France, and then nice. I'm going to Sri Lanka. Um, oh, amazing! I've not been out the country for six years because of my job. Oh wow! Previously, so that was just huge. Yeah. And another thing is, I'm also going to be working a bit of a time in Sri Lanka, so I've extended my holiday to a few more weeks, but I can work from there and sort of. Um, that's another huge bonus, you know. It's, yeah, it's very flexible. Amazing. Oh, I'm really happy for you. Um, I'm really glad this worked out, Chris. But I don't know if anyone has any questions they'd like to ask Chris whilst he's here. Feel free to ask away. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to help. Chris is also on our Slack group, so I'm going to dub you in a bit here, Chris. I'm sure if anybody wanted to, they could reach out to you on Slack as well, couldn't they, if they had questions for you? Of course, um, I mean, it's payback for the amount of questions I asked, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like people that ask lots of questions because it means that they're serious about it. And, like, you know what you're getting yourself in for. But I think you're right. Like, I always say to people, the two things you really need to do this course, it's the time to do it and the dedication to wanting to become a software developer and changing your life. Like, if you've got those two things and you're passionate, then you, there's no reason you're not going to succeed and do really well. There's going to be, like, setbacks and there's going to be times where it feels really tough, but I guess it's powering through through those and seeing the light on the other side. But um, you've got a, a, a lovely story there, Chris, <laughs> of your journey. I think somebody is asking, typing a question. Yeah, there's one there. So once a website's built, what do I do? Um, so it's not. It, it's kind of not like a hands-off thing. One the website's constantly changing. We're having new products. We're having new sales. We're, we're actually uh, moving to uh, headless soon, so we're actually going to have to rebuild the whole, whole website. Oh wow! Um, which is going to be a huge job. And is one of the things I'm looking really uh, forward to because we're going to be using a new language, which is uh, well, a new framework off JavaScript. What we've learned, so it that'll be a huge challenge, but it will be really fun. Um, yeah, we, we change the website every Wednesday. So it's every week the website changes, new products, new sales, new um, new brand pages. Like mm -hmm. we had Disney uh, partnership room, so we have to build a, a page for Disney. And, um, yeah, lots of things. So always busy. Yeah, that's cool. That was good. That was a good question, actually. Um, and Yuen has asked, what drew you to front-end development? So it's kind of a, just a role I fell into. Um, mm. <laughs> I, a lot of people have like, after the course, have like a strong preference. Mm. I didn't, I really enjoyed back end and I really enjoyed front end. Yeah. Um, but I think what I like about front end is I can build something and say, this is what I've done. Yeah. <laughs> and someone can actually play mm. with it. And like, even in our final project, we did a really fun final project and we could go online and play it and test it and do all that thing. Whereas back end, it's kind of, hidden behind the, you can't uh, see behind the scenes yeah oh, it is super powerful what you can do so yeah you know, yeah it's kind of what I fell into because there was a role and a suitable team for me like I, I met with the developers and I had two job offers at two different places and one was actually paying more and I went with the one which was paying a bit less because of the team uh, yeah it makes a big difference doesn't it so yeah I found the right role good Good. And um, Michaela has asked, what was the most difficult thing to learn throughout your experience? For me, it was, it's, it's funny saying this now, because it's what I do day to day. It's CSS, yeah. which is oh, really? not, it's not even like a pro, it's not a programming language. And, yeah. Um, it's just the like, the, the makeup of everything. But I really struggled with it because it's illogical on how it does things. Like you'll tell yeah. it to do one thing and it'll just jump somewhere else. Um so I struggled with that, actually, but it's something I've become much stronger in now because I do it every day. Yeah. Um, yeah. But for me, that was the hardest thing. Um, Flexbox and all that. It's really simple to me now, but I was in nearly in tears after the first few weeks. <laughs> like, well, why won't we uh, go blue or whatever? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was the hardest thing for me. When I was learning to code, because I did try to learn to code at one point, that was what I really struggled with as well. Like, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I was like, I don't care. Why can't I just draw a box? I was like, yeah. why can't I just draw and something out? <laughs> really strange, because when you sort of envision um, building a website from someone who's not in tech, 
Yeah. You, know, you just drag a few things and drag. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're actually you're building everything from scratch. Um, so I actually, when we got to JavaScript, found that a bit easier than CSS. Mm, could you wrap your head around the concepts at that point? No, that's really true. Cool. Um, well, thank you to everyone who's asked questions. Um, I'm going to let you go, Chris. I think that'll be fine. Uh, I'm sure, like I said, I'm going to plug you again on on LinkedIn as well, I'm sure. Maybe pop your LinkedIn into the chat would be nice for everyone. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah. Um, you can reach out to Chris. He'll answer any questions. Um, but I'm going to say goodbye to Chris. Thank you for joining me. You've been great. Oh, I've always really nice to hear about your experience. Cool. See you later, guys. Cool. See you. Great. Hopefully you all found that really helpful. Um, oh, how do I make myself less big? Here we go. Um, yeah, so Chris is one of our students, like I said, he joined us last year. Um, and yeah, it's really nice to hear his journey from like no experience and now working as a front-end software developer. That's really nice. Um, so are you interested? Is this the sort of thing that you think is going to be a good fit for you? Is it going to work with your sort of schedule? Um, and the application form takes two minutes to fill in. So it's super quick. Um, you go onto our website. I believe it is in the top corner. You just press apply and um, you will get, um, you just need to fill in a quick form. And then I will send you an email asking to book in for a call. If you don't get this email straight away, you'll get it within 24 hours. Um, and you just double check your junk and spam folder because it may come there. Um, but this is just a really quick friendly call with me. Um, not pushy it's not super light like salesy it's just me chatting with you about what you're looking for from a course making sure that you are available at the right times I guess finding out what you'd like to gain from the course and then an opportunity for you to ask me any questions so it's just a really really friendly conversation with me um about the course like I've said like maybe it's six times now <laughs> there's so much choice out there when it comes to boot counts and we want you to find the right course for you so I would never push anybody to do anything or like say that it's going to be a better fit if something else I thought was a better fit. Like, I'll be very honest with you about the course and make sure it's a right, a good fit for you. Um, so it's just a really quick chat with me, basically, but it's nothing to worry about. It isn't an interview or anything like that. Um, and we don't expect you to have any knowledge. Like, this course is for complete beginners. Um, so don't be afraid of anything like that. Um, and then if you're interested, you're like, yeah, this sounds like a really good fit for me, Alice, or... If you just say, I think you want a couple more days to think about it, what I'll still do is send your onboarding form. So this will be a second email and um, the onboarding process will, um, onboarding form process will begin. So the course cost is a £750 deposit. So that's a minimum deposit of £750. And then if you were to do our interest-free finance option, it would be then 24 months of um, interest-free finance for £271 a month. So it's an upfront payment of £750, which is your deposit, and then 24 months of £271. If you were to join us for September, once you um, signed up to the course and filled in the onboarding form, that's when you would pay your deposit. If you would like to pay a larger deposit and then pay less back every month, that's an option as well. But this is where we would take your deposit from you and then sort out your finance agreement. Um, we use a company called EdAid for finances. They are amazing, really, really easy to set up with them. Um, we will give them your details and they'll get in touch with you. We've not had a student who's had any issues with them yet. So they're really, really great. Um, their payments come out the first of every month. So if you were to join for September, your deposit would come out once you were onboarded. And then your first payment would be out in, on the 1st of October. Or you can alternatively pay for the course up front. So the total cost would be £7,250. We accept all credit cards and debit cards and PayPal, Klarna and Vax. And if you are interested, you have a tech team at your work and they're looking, always looking for software developers, maybe speak to them about sponsoring you. If this is something you think your tech team might be, be able to do, I would say try and go for it. Um, I'm happy to have speak to you or speak to the tech team or whoever you need to speak to if it's something you'd be interested in. Um, and now, if you little something from us, we have got an offer on at the moment. So £250 off for our September cohort or £500 off when you pay up front. So you need to use the code EARLYBIRD when you enrol. That's £250 or £500 off, depending on whether you use finance or 
pay up front and this code expires at midnight on the 18th of September. So get your application form in as soon as possible. Um, we, the next course starts in two weeks. It's our last one of 2023, our last one until next February, probably. Um, the next one isn't booked in. So it's our last one of the year, last chance to sort of learn with us. So definitely, if you're interested, or even if you just want to have a general chat, just feel free to put an application form in. Um, or if you have any questions, you can always email me. So next cohort starts on Monday, the 25th of September. We have a few spaces available. Do we have any questions? Any more questions? Michaela, I know you asked a question um, about whether you could do the course while studying full time. So I guess it would depend what your commitments are like from your university or wherever you're studying at the moment. So um, we would obviously ask you to make sure you could be free on Monday and Wednesday evenings. And then most people do around 15 to 20 hours of additional learning on top of that. So it's around a 20, 25 hour commitment a week. So we were able to commit on time and then you obviously are in a position where you're able to um, have the funds available. There's no reason that you wouldn't be able to do the course. We have had people who are studying learn with us before. So it has been done in the past. We've had people who just left, um, finished the rate levels and done the course. So that's not a problem at all. Um, but yeah, I don't know if anyone else has anything else they'd like to ask me. <clears throat> anything about careers? Anything more about the onboarding process, anything like that, I'm here to help. Um, if not, I will obviously get emails sent out to everyone that's joined us this evening. You can have a uh, think about it, but I will leave it here there, I guess. If no one else has any questions, I can't see anybody typing. Hopefully I've answered everything. Um, <laughs> but if you are interested or you just want to find out a little bit more or there's something you'd like me to go over again like I said I'm here to help and I would like to help you so feel free to get in touch um I will leave it there then folks thank you for joining me tonight um hopefully I'll see some of you on the next boot camp if it's not an upcoming one um but yeah enjoy the rest of your evening and thank you for being here tonight thanks guys bye